good turn with you, buddy. A, yeah, that was a great run right there. Hey, you know, this past week, we had an opportunity to send a cameraman up to check out the K-Town Showdown. That is a great event. It happens three times in the year. It just happened last Saturday, and you have another chance to check it out on February 23rd. competition's been awesome today. Everyone's throwing down. Parks crew put in an incredible setup for today. And uh, you know, it's Bluebird, so you can't ask much more. Hey everyone, welcome back to Explore Killington. Well, we're taking a little break here in the K1 Lodge, and I've caught up with a familiar face on KTV. It's Grizzly Mountain Ambassador. Grizz, how are you doing today? I am doing fantastic, and it's a great day to be out here, and uh, looking forward to get out on the slopes. Well, it's always a pleasure to uh, catch up with you here on the mountain, and uh, of course we can find you too every morning with Bettina on Killington Today, uh, most mornings that is, from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., a uh, little programming plug for, for, for that show. For the show, yes, we have a great time in the morning, Bettina and I. We give uh, the latest and greatest information of what's happening each day and what lifts are open, how the skiing is, and how to dress for the day. And information that you need to have a better day up there. Well, uh, I mentioned you're head of the Ambassador Program, but for those who may be unfamiliar with that, why don't you tell us more about that program? The Ambassador Program is made up of volunteers, and uh, we number about 200 plus. And uh, they're out there, they do greetings in the morning. They're not out there all at one time. They pick and choose the days they want to come in and volunteer their days. And they do greetings at the lodges. They go up on top of the mountain. They stay up on top of the lifts. They give directions. They give a ton of information out. And they're more or less a walking information booth with knowledge of what's happening on the mountain, what events are taking place, and also what's happening on the access road. So um, you mentioned you have uh, over 200 people involved in the program, but it is uh, essentially a volunteer program. In exchange for that, uh, they get uh, probably skiing privileges, well, correct? They do get skiing privileges on that. They do get other benefits as well. But, you know, they're here because they love the mountain and they want to give something back to Killington. Honestly, it is a family. Yeah. Now, uh, we talk about, you know, we've seen you, uh, seen this, the handsome <laughs> side of you with your jacket. But quick, turn around. I want people to see the back of that. So if you're up on the hill... You look for anybody in one of these coats, very good Grizz, and uh, they're going to have undoubtedly answers to every question, probably answers to questions you would never even think of because uh, these people are really, like you said, uh, walking, skiing, riding information booths. Yes, they get the latest and greatest information from the beginning of the season all the way through. Every day, every hour, if, thing, if lifts are closing, lifts are opening, they're helping out with ski patrol, they're helping out with lifts as well, and getting information of what's open, what may possibly close, and how to get people back from where they started from, what lodge. Um, uh, actually, very useful information, particularly here at Killington. Now, I had the uh, great pleasure of skiing with my brother and his family over at Pico uh, this past week. And uh, Pico's a little different in that 
mm, you get on a trail, you're pretty much going to end up at the base lodge. Not so, not so here at Killington. No, not so at Killington. There's about five different base lodges. We, we're right now there at, at the K-1 Lodge. Then we also have Ram's Head. We have Snowshed. We have Skyship Base. And we also have Bear. So the ambassadors can get people back by, you know, where they're looking at their tickets. That There's a code. And also there's the, uh, the wicket, the different colored wickets. And that helps us to get people around. Most importantly, what guests should realize is if they're skiing with four or five people or their family, make a plan in the morning. Make a plan of where they're going to be for lunch. Make a plan if they get separated, where they're going to meet up at the end of the day. Sounds like being a good Boy Scout, be prepared up there. But you mentioned all these different base lodges. What if I'm a first time visitor to Killington? I've never been here before. Is there some way that I could um, get around and, and find my way around? You know, that's fantastic that you would ask that question. We have Meet the Mountain Tours. Killington Meet the Mountain Tours. We have two tours every day. One is at 10 o'clock, one's at 11 o'clock. Those tours start at Snowshed. They need a valid lift ticket for today or any day that you come in to do the tour. And we will take you on an 8 to 13 mile journey, all on beginner terrain. So anybody can do it, no matter their ability level. Right. They need to be an advanced beginner. What is an advanced beginner? A beginner able to ski snowshed very comfortably. Or we will take them down Caper, where we start, and we'll decide whether they're going to continue on or possibly head them back down to Ramshead. What's it cost to do the tour? It costs nothing. <laughs> I knew the answer to that, actually. That's good it's news. Free. As long as you have a valid lift ticket for today and you're an advanced beginner, because we do not teach. But we do move along pretty quickly. As I mentioned, we cover everything from snowshed all the way over to basically sunrise, back again down to the Skyship base, and we end the tour at the top of snowshed. Yeah, so if you've never been here to Killington and you're overcome by the vastness of, uh, of the size of this place, I think that's a great way to get around. Well, we've got some guests coming up this coming week. I understand that the, uh, the folks from my favorite search engine, Google, are going to be in town doing a little uh, recreating. Is that right? Google will be here on Tuesday and Wednesday and then again on Thursday and Friday. They're coming in in two different groups. We're going to be welcoming them there at Snowshed and over at the Grand. We're going to be taking them on mountain tours. They're going to be doing a host of things up and down the access road, all the different restaurants they're going to be trying out here, and uh, they're going to be doing some cross-country skiing, some uh, sleigh rides they're going to be taking. they got a whole menu of things, and you know, everybody can join in going up and down the access road. Yeah, so you don't have to be uh, an employee at Google. I'm sure everyone's used Google a hundred times, a million times, but uh, if you see a party, Google welcome, you're welcome too. Yeah, exactly, and uh, you know, the Google people are a lot of fun. They are very knowledgeable, and uh, it's great that they're coming back there. This is our this is a return visit to the, for for them. Well, congrats. That's good news for us and to all the Google people that are watching the show this week. We want to say thanks and thanks for coming back. And we hope to see you next year too, right? Yes, next year as well. We're looking forward to that. All right, very good. Grizz going to wrap it up with you, but thanks as always for all the information. You're entirely welcome, and I hope to see you out there and enjoy the snow.